Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 33. In this video, the advanced puzzle solving technique called remote pair will be discussed. This video will be in two parts. The first part shows you the pattern we are looking for and how to find it in the puzzle. And the second part will test you on what you have learned. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. To find a remote pair pattern, we search each row looking for a cell having a pair of numbers. Once we find a pair of possible candidates, we proceed to the next part of the algorithm. We find a cell having a pair of possible candidates in cell 1, 6. Next, we highlight all the cells in the puzzle having the same pair of candidates. For this to be part of a remote pair pattern, we will need at least four cells all having the same pair of candidates. Since this pair of candidates only occurs in two cells, it is not part of a remote pair pattern. Before we continue looking for a remote pair pattern, we would like to introduce some new terminology. A strong link is a relationship between two candidates where if one candidate is false, the other must be true. This does not preclude the possibility that in some cases, both candidates turn out to be true at the same time. A weak link is a relationship where if one candidate is true, the other must be false. Again, this does not preclude the possibility both candidates in the relationship are false at the same time. For example, within a single cell having only two possible candidates, the candidates are both strongly and weakly linked. When both types of relationships are present, it creates a one-way type situation. The cell in 1, 6 is either a 3 or an 8, but it is not both at the same time. Sometimes relationships occur between cells. We will use a line with an arrowhead to show a link between cells. A single arrow from one cell to the next indicates a chain between the cells, where the current cell's values depend on the previous cell's values. In this example, because there are multiple links involved within and between cells, it creates a one or the other situation. For example, in these two cells, the value could be a 3 in cell 1, 6 and an 8 in cell 6, 6 as shown. Or the other possibility is the values could be an 8 in cell 1, 6 and a 3 in cell 6, 6 as shown. We continue our search for a remote pair pattern and immediately we find a pair of candidates in cell 1, 7. We highlight all the cells having the same pair of candidates. Again, this pair of candidates cannot be part of a remote pair pattern because it only has two cells. We continue our search for a remote pair pattern and we find another pair of candidates in cell 1, 8. We highlight all the cells having the same pair of candidates. As before, the cells having this pair of candidates cannot be part of a remote pair pattern because there are only two cells with these pair of candidates. We continue our search. We find a cell having a pair of possible candidates. We highlight all the cells having the same pair of candidates. As before, the cells having this pair of candidates cannot be part of a remote pair pattern because there are only two cells with these pair of candidates. We continue our search. We find a pair of possible candidates in cell 2, 9. We highlight all the cells having the same pair of possible candidates. This time, we have four cells, so we may have a remote pair pattern. Next, we identify a chaining sequence of links between cells, as shown with lines having arrows. Now that we've established the chaining sequence, we identify the kill zones. A kill zone for a remote pair pattern are any cells sharing the same house with any two cells in our chaining sequence. The first kill zone we find is now highlighted in light red. The cells involved in the sharing are shown with a black outline. The second kill zone we find is now highlighted in light red. The cells involved in the sharing are shown with a black outline. The next step in our algorithm is to color the candidates in each cell in our chaining sequence in alternating colors. All the candidates in the cells of our chaining sequence now have alternating colors. Next step is to identify the non-possible candidates in our kill zone. We look at our first kill zone. 
We do not find any non-possible candidates, even though there is a possible 5 and 9 candidates in cell 2, 8 shown with red circles. The possible 5 and 9 in cell 2, 8 are not killed because the chaining cells making up the kill zone have the same two alternating colors. For the kill zone to work in all cases, the two cells making up the kill zone have to end up with one of each color in our alternating color pattern. This will become clearer why the colors need to be different once we review our logic shortly. Next, we look at our second kill zone. This time we do have alternating colors and the possible 9 candidate in cell 2, 5 is marked as a non-possible candidate in dark red. Let's review the logic of the remote pair pattern to confirm in each scenario test case our target candidate in our kill zone is killed. The first scenario starts by having a 5 in cell 2, 9. The results of our chaining are shown. The target candidate in our kill zone is killed. The second scenario starts by having a 9 in cell 2, 9. The results of our chaining are shown. The target candidate in our kill zone is killed. As you can see from the logic in both test scenarios, it results in our non-possible candidate in our kill zone being killed. The remote pair pattern is very powerful and can result in many non-possible candidates being removed from the puzzle. We remove the non-possible candidate from our puzzle. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. As before, we search for a remote pair pattern by looking at each cell having only two possible candidates. When we get to cell 1, 7, we find something. All the cells having the same candidates are now highlighted. Next, we identify the links and chains between the cells as shown. Next step in our algorithm is to identify all the kill zones, which are now shown in light red. Remember, for the remote pair pattern, the kill zones are any cells shared in the same house by any two cells in our chaining sequence. We now color the candidates in our chaining sequence with alternating colors as shown. And finally, we identify all the non-possible candidates in our kill zones, now highlighted in dark red. What determines if a candidate in our kill zones is non-possible is the candidate sees one of each color from the colored candidates in our chaining sequence. We visually confirm our logic and then we remove the non-possible candidates from our puzzle. In this example, we had two separate chaining sequences. The chaining sequence in column 7 can be ignored because it has only two cells. To be a remote pair pattern, there needs to be at least four cells in our chaining sequence. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please take some time to support the Exodoku. Thank you for your support. Pause the video and find the remote pattern in the puzzle. We've highlighted all the cells having a pair of candidates. First, identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. 
Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the remote pair pattern in the puzzle. Identify all the cells involved in a chaining sequence, then identify all the kill zones, and then identify the non-possible candidates. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 33. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.